Howdy team. We're going to work on Access 2 today, so let's get started. Um, it asks us to open a database, and I always suggest that you save it again with your last name. And save it into that folder that you've used for our class. And what I do is I'm going to save it right here with my last name. It may already come down as your last name or it may not depending on which system you're on. All right, we're going to enable content and then it says start access op opening the downloaded access file exploring EO2 greater A1. We're on target. Step two, create a new table in design view. Let's start there. We're going to go to create. We're going to go to table design. And it asks us to add the field name exhibit ID. With the auto number data type. So right here we have short text data type. What we want to do is click the arrow to the right and make sure we go scroll down to auto number. Add the caption exhibit ID and that's in our descriptions so we should go down here to captions I'm sorry and add that there. Set the exhibit ID field as your primary key So we're going to click primary key after we've clicked the field. Save the table using the name exhibits. So I'm going to come up here. There's lots of different ways to save. I'm going to right click table one tab and go save. And it's going to ask me for a save as name. And I'm going to save it as exhibits and click OK. That's the end of step two. Step three, add the following fields and set their field properties as shown. So your field name would be right here. And the first one is exhibit name. And the field type, as you can see, is short text, which is our default. And our field size, which is down here, defaults to 255, but it's asking us to only have a field size of 15. And then the caption for this, which goes right here, is exhibit name. We're going to do a couple more together. The next field name is acres. And it's asking us to choose number for our data type. So we're going to do our pull down arrow and scroll to number. It's asking us for a field size property of integer. Right now we have long integer and we can click over in the right pull down and just go to integer. There we go. And it's asking for no caption. So we go down to the next field, initial cost. And it's asking us for currency. So we're looking for that dollar symbol and two decimals. And we're going to go down to here. It says no change on the field property size and initial cost for our captions. We're going to click in here and caption and type initial cost. The next one is yearly cost with no space. And it's asking us for currency again. No change for our field size properly and yearly cost for our caption. And in our caption, we can indeed put a space. All right, and then date open for our next field. Date opened. And date and time for our data type. All right, and no change for field size property and date opened on our caption. And Adding captions helps your individuals who are going to be putting that data in. It's a good plan. And the final field name is show. 
and it's asking us for a yes or no data type, no change in field size property, and no change in caption. And that's the end of step.